born on March 31, 1823 in Sumter District. Mary Boykin Miller Chestnut is best known for the extraordinary diary she kept during the American Civil War. As the daughter of a prominent politician, young Mary received the kind of education that enabled her to thrive in the elite antebellum circles in which she would travel during her lifetime. Mary Boykin Chestnut was certainly among the most privileged of Southern women at this time. When James Chestnut Jr. proposed marriage, the two became husband and wife in 1840. She married into one of the wealthiest uh, slaveholding families in the state. When South Carolina seceded from the Union in December 1860, Mary stood behind the Southern cause. For most of her life, she was against slavery, and here she was married to, you know, a slaveholder. Mary began keeping her diary in February 1861, and by way of her husband's prominent role in the new Confederacy, she became a witness to the critical events that unfolded. She wrote about everything. You know, she wrote about the generals, she wrote about the battles, she wrote about irritation with the government, she wrote about what was happening on the home front. It's just extraordinary uh, insights into what was going on during the Confederacy. She was in Alabama as the new Confederate government was formed, Charleston as artillery rained down upon the Union troops garrisoned at Fort Sumter, and Richmond when the Confederate government made the city its permanent home, recording her impressions and observations through it all. Like many Southerners, James and Mary fell on hard times after the war. Mary Chestnut set about revising the diary she had kept, transforming it into the work we know today. 